Lights, camera, action. Lights, camera, action. What's up, everybody? It is Miss Zafir. So today we are going to talk about feelings. Feelings. F E E L I N G S. We're going to say feelings. How are you feeling? Okay, so a lot of times you're going to say hi to people. When you meet people, you always say hi, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Okay? So you have different greetings that you are going to use. But today we're going to go over the different feelings you're going to respond based on who you are talking to. If you're talking to a friend, if you are talking to a coworker, if you're talking to your boss, if you are talking to just a stranger on the street, there are certain ways that you're going to respond. So let's check out some of these feeling sentences. Okay, so you might meet somebody and they are going to say, how are you feeling? Now, this one is a formal is a formal one. So if you go to the doctor's office, the doctor might ask, how are you feeling? So let's take a look at that sentence. How are you feeling? Okay. So if it's the doctor that asks you, how are you feeling? Of course, you're probably going to say, I am in a lot of pain. If it is a friend that says, how are you feeling? You might answer, girl, I feel so bad right now. So based on who is talking to you, you're going to respond a certain way. So I am at work. Let me turn this off. So based on who is talking to you, you're going to respond a certain way. But this is one way that somebody's going to ask you, how are you doing? Okay, so once you say hi, how are you? They might say, how are you feeling? Now let's take a look at the next sentence. It's going to be, how do you feel? So this is us using the word, the verb feel. So we're looking at feelings. That would be the noun. Okay, but... We have the verb feel that we are working with. Okay. How are you feeling? Okay. How do you feel? Now, earlier, you can say to the doctor, I feel sick. Okay. So that could be a small thing that you answer here. Look at this one. How do you feel? You can respond, I don't feel so good. I don't feel so good. Or I feel great. I feel great. I feel great. So these are the first two, okay? Now I have some other ones that I wanna give you guys. Hold on, let me erase that. It's great to know all the different ways that somebody might ask you, how are you, okay? Whenever you say hi to somebody, you, Whenever you say hi to somebody, they most likely going to say, how are you? So I work at a high school. I also work at a university. Okay. Um, I teach English um, at the university and I also teach English in high school. So if you would like to learn English, 
please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and share this video with your friends who are trying to learn English um, as I continue to post some videos. I don't post every day, but when I do post, I want you all to catch the videos. So make sure you like and subscribe. Also, make sure you join my online class. I do have a YouTube class where I post different lessons that you could be working on on your own at home okay so get as much practice as you can but be sure to watch the videos here uh, give them a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel all right so let's take a look at the next one okay so the most common sentence that you're gonna get when somebody say hi the most common feeling question you're gonna get is how are you how are you how are you okay so this one is the third one we already did one and two so the next one is how are you whenever somebody said how are you you don't even have to form a sentence you can say good okay so based on who asked you this question if it's if it's a co-worker good if it's a stranger you don't feel comfortable saying you doing you sad you can say i'm okay okay you can somebody say how are you you can always say i'm doing great okay if it's your best friend who said who says how are you now usually if it's your best friend they probably not going to say how are you girl what's up if they say girl what's up usually you gonna say i'm tired i'm sick okay you can say i'm tired you can say i'm sick okay so these are some small things that you can say i do have some other ones that i'll give you at a later time but these are a few um good ones that you can use for this one all right let's move on to number four we're gonna move on we're gonna move on to number four now the next one is how are you doing today okay how are you doing today how are you doing today how are you doing today this is also very formal so if you go to a to a bank if you go to a school a teacher might ask how are you doing today okay you can say i'm well thank you okay so you can always say i'm well thank you okay based on who asks you now usually when someone says how are you any anytime somebody say whether they say how are you feeling today whether they say how are you okay whether they say how do you feel you can always say especially if it's a greeting you can always say i'm good how about you you always want to ask the person how they are feeling as well okay because that shows that you are being friendly that you are nice when you are a nice person you want to know how the next person is feeling okay all right so how are you doing today i'm well thank you or i'm okay thank you how about you all right very good let's go to let's go to number let's go to number five number five um usually if you notice somebody is sad or they don't feel well you can always say are you okay So this is you checking up on somebody, okay? You are checking if somebody's okay. 
Um, so you're going to say, are you okay? You can always check. You can always check in. Um, the response can be, can be, yes, yes, I'm okay. Yes, I'm okay. Okay, okay. Now you can add more to this because sometimes, yes, you are okay, but you have some things that you are working on. So you can always say, yes. I'm okay. Yes, I'm okay. I'm just really busy today. Okay. I'm just really busy today. Okay. So you can always say that. Or sometimes if the answer is no, if somebody said, are you okay? No, I'm having a really bad day. Okay, so let's put that down. So you can say, no, I'm having a really bad day. Okay, or you can say, no, I'm feeling sick today. No. I'm really busy today. No, my mom is sick. Okay. Now, usually you say that to somebody, you know, somebody you are connected to. Okay. Um, based on your relationship with the person, that's how you respond. Okay. Now I do have two more that we do have to um, we do have to write. So I know you guys see me continuously looking at the windows. So my classroom, I have lots of windows. So every time students pass through, they are looking in the classroom. So I just kind of look up, but, um, all right. So we have, we have two more. All right. So this sentence number six is the same as, are you okay? Okay. So it says, what's the matter? So if you are, if you are having a conversation with someone and you know, you say, hi, how are you? Oh, I don't feel good today. Then the follow-up question can be, what's the matter? Okay. So what's wrong? Okay. So number seven is actually what's wrong. Okay. All right. So. These two questions are asking the same thing, okay? What's the matter and what's wrong? And usually these are follow-up questions. So let's talk about how the conversation might go for you to get to what's the matter or what's wrong. So if I said, hi, Andrea, how are you today? Andrea might respond, I'm well, how are you? And I would say, I'm good. I'm good. Everything seems so good. Andrea might respond, I guess. So if Andrea responds, I guess, the tone of her voice tells me something's wrong. And so what I may ask is, what's the matter? Or are you okay? Or what's wrong? what's wrong okay so when you ask those type of questions then andrea might respond well i thought i had twenty dollars with me today but it turns out i only have five dollars and i really need to catch an uber so i can get to work then now you know what's wrong and maybe you are able to help Andrea and maybe you're not. If you are able, you can say, oh, well, I can let you borrow $20 and you can just pay me back next week. Or you can say, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm not gonna be able to help you, but maybe with $5, you can catch the public bus. Okay, so I still give Andrea two great options. 
Okay. I gave Andrea an option where I would help. I also gave Andrea an option where she still would be able to get to work, but maybe she wasn't thinking that way. So this is pretty great. So these are simple ways that you can ask people, how are they feeling and how are they doing? Okay, let's review. So I'm so glad you all were able to come to class today um, and watch this video. But right now what we're gonna do is review the seven sentences. So I want you to repeat after me, okay? Number one, how are you feeling? Repeat. How are you feeling? That's great. Good job. Number two. Number two, how do you feel? How do you feel? Very good. Very good. Number three, how are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Great job. Number four. How are you today? Repeat. How are you today? Very good. Number five. Are you okay? Are you okay? Very good. All right. Repeat the next one. Number six. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? All right, very good. Next, last one would be, what's wrong? What's wrong? Very good. All right, thank you all so much for stopping by on today. So if you enjoyed this lesson, I want you to comment something below of the video. And if you did not enjoy the lesson, I guess don't comment anything, just wait for the next one and maybe um, the next lesson can help you. But if you did like the, the lesson today, I want you to go ahead and comment something below. Maybe it is your response to one of these. How are you feeling today? You can respond to that in the comment section. How are you today? I hope everything is okay. I'm glad that you were able to come to class. If you did not like this video, make sure you like the video, okay? Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. Also, join the YouTube class because I would love to see you on Ellie at our YouTube class. Have a great day.